Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we're going to be talking about some Thursday flipping weekend league and rewards investing for this week. We do this every week on the channel. We look at stuff that we can possibly buy into Wednesday before weekend league rewards and sell it after, after people open up their weekend league and division rivals rewards and get their rewards, get coins, get their packs, open stuff up, and possibly go out and buy new players. It hasn't worked as well this year. We're going to preface this week's video by saying the past couple weeks, I mean, it's not a secret. The Thursday flipping this year just hasn't worked as great yet. Um, I think our time is coming. It, it worked a lot better last year, um, later on in the year as well, kind of like after the Black Friday stuff happened and, and everything like that. But um, it still just hasn't worked that great this year, but it still has been profitable in some areas, just not as profitable as before. Last year, we were able to buy informs, you know, the night before for maybe like 100K for some inform. The next day, you'd be easily selling it for 120K, and you could do that every single week. You, you were easily making sometimes 10, 15,000 coins on one single card every week. If it was an inform or a gold that linked to the team of the week, I just think that's a lot more popular this year. That's hurting the ability that we have to invest in stuff. And just the way the EA is running the market this year with the continuing supply coming on the market, that's hurting some of the stuff too, because we have to be really confined into those sell times. Where last year we would sell stuff um, after Thursdays at 6 p.m. UK, where this year we're kind of stuck selling things um, always on Thursday before 6 p.m. UK because we're always worried about what kind of content is going to be coming. What kind of content is EA going to drop um, on that Thursday? Are we going to get a loading screen? All those kind of worries that we've had to worry about this year that last year we didn't have to worry about as many times. So I think that's really kind of hindered the performance of Thursday flipping. But I think this week looks promising um, because just the how much the market has dropped this week or last week um, with the road to the final promo. Last week we were scared because we thought we're gonna get content on Thursday uh, with the second set of RTTF cards coming into packs. We thought we were getting content, nothing came. Uh, and then these Road to the Final cards have absolutely boomed out of packs. They have absolutely skied out of packs. It's just crazy. Um, and that has really, that's kind of put some faith in me for the market. I think the market has a decent amount of coins right now. Think about all these people that bought these cards and they're selling them at a profit this week. I mean, some people are going to keep them in their club and use them and they want to keep them for a while because they're upgraded, you know, when their team wins. And there's Champions League games next week they have to look forward to. But I think some people have taken the coins on these cards when they've seen them go up so much and they just know that it's crazy and that um, they have a lot of coins to expend this weekend. Now, I know we're also really getting close to Black Friday and you might be thinking, well, are people going to spend the coins on a big team this week with literally uh, within week away of Black Friday. We're getting very, very close to that Black Friday promo. Uh, it is coming. It's 10 days from today, I think, right? Nine or 10 days from today. So um, the 29th of November is coming very soon. So we want to talk about some of that. Um, but first, I still think Thursday flipping is going to work this week. It's going to be in select areas. We're getting a very good team of the week uh, today on Wednesday. It should be very good. So I want to talk about the possibility of that as well and maybe a sell time. I don't think we have a promo coming on Thursday of this week, but I still think it might be safe to get your cards out before 6 p.m. UK. So this is a Team of the Week prediction. As you guys probably know, uh, when you're watching this video, maybe the Team of the Week is out, maybe it's not yet, but this is a Team of the Week prediction. I always take a look at these to maybe find some link investments. Are some of these cards going to fit into people's teams right away? And stuff that we always look at with these Team of the Week is we look for a very good, very overpowered, or very linkable card. If it checks those three criterias of just being a meta-looking card with good links, good nationality, and it's got the hype with it, then link investments to that kind of card are going to do well. It also depends on that card's rating because Griezmann here looks to be one of the most hyped up cards to me or Ronaldo, but how many people are going to pack Griezmann or Ronaldo from the rewards? Not very many. A lot of people already have red Griezmanns, so um, not a lot of people, but some very lucky people have red Griezmanns. Um, so that's a card that we've already kind of linked to, but still, we didn't see a ton of stuff go up for those link investments. Um, because it's just such a rare card to get from red. So if you look at like the 83 to 87 range, the reds that most people will get, probably a Chillwell, 
probably a Ginter, a Cherubi, maybe a Jared Moreno. Um, a lot of those cards to me in this Team of the Week prediction uh, or this Team of the Week prediction on Footbin. The only one that really strikes me is Varan. Varan could be a card that a lot of people would want to get in their team, and he would be decently packable from player picks. He's 86 rated if he gets an inform. So that's something that I want to take a look at uh, as a possible link investment too. Um, again, the team link might be out by the time you're seeing this video, so you might actually know who is in it and who to link invest to, but I think he is one that if he gets in the team of the week, um, a couple link investments that you could get that link up with him. Uh, first off, of course, Furland Mendy. This card is crazy. I mean, you're, you're, you're like, you might be thinking, yo, Nate, why are you telling me to invest in a Furland Mendy gold card that is 80 rated this late on in FIFA for a Thursday flipping? Just the fact that this guy has so much freaking hype about him, it's ridiculous. 32,000 coins. He was actually under 30K earlier this week, but he has risen up a little bit. I don't know if it's people know that Varane is coming, but if you see this guy tomorrow at some point, hopefully on Wednesday, we get like a league SBC or something with pack supply so that we can um, get a little bit of pack supply in the market. And I will say this, if we get an SBC today on Wednesday where we see a lot of packs being opened, like a league SBC that is decently cheap or some type of pack supply SBC, that's gonna be the best time to buy the gold cards um, and just be on the market looking for deals and looking for stuff because a lot of people wait until a couple hours before rewards. But on these Thursday flipping days when we've had um, supply from packs, the best buy time has actually been during that supply so like 6 p.m uk drop the best buy time has been 7 to 8 p.m uk on the bids and on the snipes if we do get pack supply and if you're going after gold cards that's the the criteria there um that i would say about that so fairline mini would be a decent link to a veron card but again this week you know the safest stuff to always look at is out of packs in forums that have gone up in the past, that have gone up before, and that are very popular in people's teams. Wijnaldum, I think, is a good shout this week. Around 145,000 coins at the moment, I do believe. This is just a center mid prem card. Uh, oh, actually, it's a little bit higher than that. 153k, 150k. Very good all-around card. He's Liverpool. He's Dutch. If we get a Dutch in for him, possible link to him there. I know Wijnaldum had a hat trick today on Tuesday when I'm recording this, but that card will not be eligible for Team of the Week since it was a Tuesday game. So all of the stuff that could be in Team of the Week today would be from over the weekend games. It's like Wednesday until Monday is when they do Team of the Week stuff. So I think Wijnaldum's a good pickup, though. He's dropped a lot. Uh, let's take a look at this card over here in Footbin. I want to show you guys this one because he has dropped a lot in the past couple of days, but I still think this is a popular card. I don't know what people are replacing him with or if he's just going down in the downturn of the market. 154K, if you see this get a little bit under 150, I am a fan. You can see at one point today he was 147. If you see him at that price again under 150K, either on a bid or a snipe, I feel pretty good about that. I think you could get up to 170K pretty easily uh, in this the thursday flipping rewards scene another a couple other cards that i like are just you know normal premier league cards fabinho's inform did really really well last weekend uh especially if you can get a shadow chem style on him this oh, right there 199,000 coins for fabinho the next cheapest is 200 and just over 200k so um i can tell you for sure i was flipping this card a lot last week during the weekend this card was 220,000 coins with a shadow 215 without any sort of chem style on him last weekend on thursday friday we did have a little bit of liverpool hype um i think there was with with some of the cards that were out but uh this could be a very good card to flip this week if you see him right around 190,000 coins i do think that you could easily get a sale on thursday after rewards over 210k you know make 5 to 10k a card on some of these it's not the best but it's kind of what it has to be and you may, of course maybe there's a brazilian in the team of the week or a liverpool player that shoots him up even higher in value but people are finding value in this card as a cdm i can tell you that for sure and of course we're just thinking about other um premier league cards stuff that has been hyped up before basically because a lot of stuff is low right now i like this bernard scream card uh, somewhere around like the 180 something range. If you get them low 180s, I'm a fan of that. But we don't have a ton of left wings in the prem. We have Sané, we have Mane, we have Bernard, um, and maybe another another inform or something throw in there. But Bernard still has the hype in my opinion. Still a pretty good card and um, and stuff like that. So I like the out of packs cards this week. The screams, 
the informs. If it's risen in the past for a Thursday flip, uh, I do think that it could rise again this week. I want to take a look at this card specifically. We did get player of the month, Mabry, today. Some informs are up. Inform Werner is up like 20K already because of that. But this card doesn't move too much. But I think he's a very possible link investment for that card. Um, he is from Team of the Week, what, three? Team of the Week three. His price throughout the year, I mean, he was up at 180 right away, dropped down to 140, up to 165. The past couple weeks, he's gone down. But I do think at 100 and under 120K, maybe you can get 115 or 117 on a bid or a snipe. I'm a huge fan of this card right there. I think that's going to be a pretty good link investment uh, to that Nabry card because people did that Nabry card today. This graph right here is the index 84 graph. And this kind of shows us the price of 84s, what they did today. Look what they did today when Nabry came out. They shot up a ton. Now they have leveled back off and they've gone down actually a, a really, a really high amount. They've gone down a ton, but that shows me that at least some people were doing Nabry. And it also looked like this yesterday after the Juan Mata SBC came out. So maybe, you know, people are trying to fit in a Juan Mata, their squads. I was thinking about maybe looking at um, Treore's card as a possible link investment, either the right back or the scream card, but to be honest, I just think that people aren't using this card as a starter in their teams. That's a wrong Treore as well. Adama Treore. Um, where's he at? Did I find him right here? That's not the right one either. Man, what am I what am I doing here? Adama Treore, 71. What in the world? I have the wrong one. Where's the silver one? Right here. Adama Traore, 74. There he is. <laughs> There's the man of the hour. All right. I don't think this card's going to be a great Thursday flip. It's still very overpriced. It could go up a little bit because it's a scream card and it's rare and it's out of packs. But um, I don't see any special link investments with the Juan Mata, in my opinion, there, even though it is a green link. But again, out of pack special cards, if it's popular, it's good. If it's a scream card, it's good. I really like Otamendi as well. Um, he has been staying very low since the Joe Gomez SBC came, but that SBC has came and gone. So um, if you're looking for somebody to maybe run in your prem back line, if you see this guy under 220,000 coins, what is he right now? 226. He was two. He was under 220 earlier today. So 225 right now. If you can get him under 220k, that could very easily be 240 to 250 this weekend. If people are going out and building some Premier League squads. You have to think about people now have Zanetti as well. So they might be trying a little bit of a green link there with, with Otamendi, with Zanetti, stuff like that. Could help his price out this weekend with that Zanetti being available from Icon Swaps. And then I want to talk about gold cards as well. Um, there's a couple gold cards. We looked at a team of, the, team of the Week prediction just a little bit ago. A couple gold cards that I think are very popular and also possible to get in Team of the Week because what we have seen in the past is out of packs gold cards um, have always been kind of something that we looked at as a Thursday investment. But I think it's kind of coming back to be one of the best ways to invest. Last week, Usman Dembele was out of packs for Road to the Final. His card went from 32K right when he went out of packs. He was actually 35K. You could get him on Wednesday night for 35,000 coins, and I sold one for 42K on Thursday. So that's a decent rise, a 7,000 coin rise on a card that costs you 30K. That's great. Um, for a gold card for Thursday flipping. So watch this Griezmann card. Um, he is really low. He is very popular. Barcelona, French, um, gets into a lot of people's squads. And if some people might be running a little bit of a cheaper squad this weekend, this guy might fit into their team. You know, if you're running like a 500K squad, Griezmann would be probably uh, a focal point in that team if they're running gold cards, if they're scared of Black Friday. Um, that could be somebody who they put in their team. So look at the team of the week. Again, if we look at one of those predictions, um, you're going to want to focus on the gold cards. If you want to try to do a gold cards out of pack, out of packs, flipping type thing, uh, that's going to be a meta card that's going to be used in people's weekend league teams. So Varane would be a perfect example. Griezmann would be a decent example. Pretty good example. Hazard would probably be a little bit expensive for my liking. Ronaldo, probably not. Immobile, no. Kane, no. Um, none of these other guys, maybe Oblak, possibly Oblak. Um, but I do think Varane, if Varane does get in, that would be a gold card out of packs that would move. I mean, Erickson was in that other prediction as well. Possibly Erickson uh, could be a decent gold card Thursday flip as well. And then honestly, we can we always have to look at some of those cards that rise every week. Uh, Lenglet, obviously one of the best budget center backs as a French, 
Barcelona player. I mean, he links to the PK, he links to Ter Stegen, stuff like that. So Lengley and actually Ter Stegen, who I just mentioned as well, could be just normal gold card flips this week because so many people have them in their teams. Uh, and then a couple other informs that I want to shout really quick as well. Lucas Digne, um, again, I think he's like 65K maybe. Oh, he's actually 60,000 coins. So this card, low 60s, under 60,000 coins could easily be 70K. Uh, this weekend, even Theo Hernandez, this card right here as well, pretty cheap uh, as an inform. I think he is around 60k as well, just a little bit under. But they're both they're both fast, not fast, but they're both French. Theo Hernandez is fast. They're both French left backs in the uh, in this game that people are going to use because they're French and they get links. Again, when you're looking for these Thursday bids and Thursday investments, like I mentioned on Fabinho, if you can find a shadow. Or if you can find a very overpriced chem style, basically a hunter or a shadow on any of these cards when you're looking to buy them at any point, either on bid or on snipe. If you can find that chem style, that can actually add a lot of value to your Thursday flips. Um, you know, somebody might be selling their team Wednesday night. You see a, a Fabinho pop up for 190K with a shadow center mid position. I'd be careful with these striker position changes. Obviously, that's going to be a catered specific buyer is going to want to buy that card. So you might be able to get some extra coins out of it, but it's always a little bit safer to go with the center mid version. Um, to try not, I mean, not everybody is looking for a striker position change Fabinho. So, um, but again, with the chem styles, like a shadow on Fabinho, a shadow on a Wijnaldum, on any of the defenders. And then maybe if you're looking at attackers like that Havertz card, maybe you've tried to find one that has a hunter on it um, that could give you an extra boost and profit as people are going to build teams, especially with these chem styles and how much the shadows and the hunters are going for on the market. They're basically extinct at 5K. That's going to be a possibility for some extra added money on top of your rise in that card for Thursday flip. So I want to make that known to you as well. I would actually put a pretty high priority on that. If you're going to buy some defenders this week, if you're going to buy like an Inform Ducore maybe or Inform and Diddy or Odomendi or even Trippier to link with a party, um, I think that's a pretty... Um, I think that's a pretty wise thing to do is to look for some chem styles on those cards when you're looking to Thursday flip them. If you can get them on bid, that's probably going to be the best bet because you don't always see them pop up on snipes. But on Wednesday night, you could see that as a possibility as well. So again, buy time for th some of this stuff. If we do get content today on, thir on Wednesday, if we get some 6 p.m. content in terms of either SBCs or pack supply or a league SBC that's going to give out packs. Of course, uh, in the couple hours after that content drops, that would be a great time to pick up some of the gold cards if you're looking for that. Because a lot of times what happens is that supply comes 6 p.m. UK, everybody packs the cards, they list them, list them, they're all kind of listing at the same time. And usually around 7.30 to 8 p.m. UK is kind of the hot time where a lot of stuff is getting relisted for a second time or the open bids are expiring and stuff it, that's kind of like the lowest point after a pack supply at 6 p.m. UK. So kind of watch around that area. If you want to pick up a Varane, if you want to pick up a Griezmann. Now, obviously, when you see the team of the week come out, let's say Varane is in team of the week. You see Varane is in team of the week at um, 3 p.m. UK when that announcement is released. You're probably going to want to go out and at least if you're going to invest in Varane at that point, you would want to buy one then. Right as everybody else is thinking about it because people are going to realize, oh, he's out of packs. Let me go buy one. So if you're going to invest in that card, maybe buy then. Um, but don't buy too many because you never know what could happen at 6 p.m. UK with content. EA could drop a massive SBC. People could just start panic selling. And then you're losing coins when you thought you were going to be making them. So just be careful with that. I'll probably look and see what happens at 6 p.m. UK personally. And then buy more cards later in the evening before rewards do come out. So that's kind of the way Thursday flipping this weekend. Sell time. You, this, I honestly, this Thursday might be the first one where I can say hold until fr hold until Friday. I don't know how much panic we're gonna have if people are thinking we're gonna get a promo this Friday. I mean, I don't want to tell you guys to sell on Thursday at 6 p.m. and then see little little to no content come out on Thursday and the market keeps going up in the afternoon. I would hate to see that happen. Um, but I guess there is a possibility for some sort of, of content on Thursday that could drop the market a little bit, but we have a pro event this weekend. So that might help some of the upper tier cards, some of the upper tier, maybe some icons, maybe some, um, very popular cards like a Ter Stegen, or maybe even like Ferland Mendy this weekend. I still think you're going to see him in a lot of people's teams. Some people still play Ferland Mendy at the pro event, even though they have all the cards unlocked, 
they use Ferland Mendy and Militao. I mean, I haven't talked about Road to the Final cards at all during this, but if you see a lot of panic on Road to the Finals uh, at some point this weekend, could be something to pick up on uh, and possibly make some coins off of, but make sure it's a really hyped up card. I mean, this Militao is how much coins now? Militao 600. What a, what? That's a pretty big undercut, 651. And that one was up at 623. Uh, but I really can't make any profit on that because there's three, there's 30K of tax here. I'd have to sell it like 660 or 670 to make any money. It looks like you wouldn't sell for that. So but that is a nice undercut on, on Militao. But kind of watch if the road to the final prices, if you see a lot of them dip, um, that could be a possibility to pick up on some panic. But I'd be careful with those. Um, just because they're way, way overpriced right now at the moment, and they're very, very rare. So um, that is something that I would be careful with. I don't think any leak, I don't think any link investments to those cards would really go crazy because I don't think a lot of people are building teams around those cards at this time. It just seems like people want them in their team or they want to have them in their club because they think they're going to get upgraded with Champions League success. So that's Thursday flipping for you guys this week. That's my opinion. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I'll try to answer some of those there uh, that you guys might have. But again, Thursday flipping, just be cautious with it, okay? With your buy time, I mean, make sure you look at the market, try to get on bids if you're buying late at night. If you're on the informs, if we get content at 6 p.m., that could be a good time to look at some informs as well while everybody else is going out and looking and whatever new SBC that we got uh, today, or maybe some of the new Team of the Week cards, you could be on the market looking for snipes, looking for undercuts, or looking for open bids. When people aren't looking in that direction, possibly picking up some good deals. So that's what I have to say about that. Thursday flipping this week again is a go. I'll be putting all my coins into it again. Um, it's something that you can do every week to count on the market to rise even a little bit. Hopefully, as we keep moving on to FIFA, as people get more coins in their accounts, and especially after Black Friday, this method should work a little bit better. Uh, we just have to be smarter and invest in the stuff that we know is going to go up and the stuff that we know people are going to use in their team. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.